Well, here we are, 22nd of March. Second day of spring. And I finally got the big grapes planted there and there. And then one over there and one over there. Behind the apple, to the right of the apple there. And put some screen over them a little later. Also did some uh try something. It says to do it indoors, but I'm gonna I got three trays done. I think the bottom one's all tobacco, burly tobacco. The middle one forgotten it's either all truckers favorite white corn or the Inca and Aztec uh, different things. Mm -hmm. uh, if and the one on top is, I think, the Inca uh, Aztec things that they're labeled. Uh, they're all uh, eco seeds. Uh, the Truckers is Heirloom Seed Company, and Tobacco is eco seeds. Anyway, today is March 22nd. I just put them in about two or three hours ago. Set them over there and let them let the sprinkler work on them a little bit. And then added a little water with a hose and uh, got all the grapes I put in. I want you to see a little better over there now. A little one. All of them got signs of growth, so I got them in just in time. And uh, watered this and uh, forgotten what I said that one over there is. I think it's either giant ink of white or Trucker's favorite or Stowell's uh, Evergreen or something like that. And the other one's over there, but they haven't. Uh, huh. Yeah, those two. They're starting to come up, and there's obvious, it's obviously it's corn, but I'm uh, not too sure which variety I've moved them around a little bit. Uh, March 23rd, I guess it's a good day. Right along this fence here, I planted some German garlic, single cloves. It was kind of moldy from uh, Grow Organic. Over there, some Russian garlic, Russian red, this German red. Up there's Russian red, whole clove, whole, I mean, whole uh, head, not just a toe. And right here is the German red, whole clove. And then over here's a couple whole cloves. And uh, over here's a couple of German whole cloves. And then over there, a Russian red uh, and German red single cloves. Uh, the ground's kind of moist. I'm going to water it. Uh, I fertilized it yesterday, so I've got to water it real good to keep from burning things, get it kind of diluted out. But uh, let's see, what are we doing on the temperature? Looks like it's up to uh, a little over 70, 75 on that one. What's the other one say? Oh, can't read it too well. Well, let's see, we got to go back out the white angle. Here's what uh, Rick Holtz did with the farm all for Rick Cody. I gave him the plants and she was planning on eating shit or something. I guess if you plant them in the toilet, take care. Well, it's March 23rd, 2013. Um, I guess Ed is a little better of a green thumber than I thought. See, one tree planted there, and the other one over here back there are blooming. And by the way, there are signs of growth on some of the citrus, which is hopeful. And the decorative trees are starting to blossom. It's March 24th, and we're coming up into the trail, and uh, we'll 
see what these guys are doing in the way of agriculture on the left here. They seem to be the only ones that know what they're doing. The uh, Mexican family don't know their name. Well, March 31st, <laughs> it's about 2.30, something like, no, 3.30 in the afternoon, Easter Sunday. As you can see, these are the trees. They got a little bit of growth coming on them, just enough to show that they're going to stay alive. Watering this one here. The battery's a little low, I can't do much right now. But down there, you can see the fence. They got that wire in and around there and a little bit coming back this way and they're gonna do the rest tomorrow. Monday, Easter Monday, as far as I know, maybe Tuesday. Uh, let me give this a little water and then go up and charge the battery on the uh, camera. Oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, here's my summer look. Uh, our change looks a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's a lot more comfortable in the summer. In the winter, the long hair is good. And it's not summer yet, but it's, I started sweating on my head, so I got the clippers and zit. Anyway, uh, I think the battery will last long enough for me to take a little walk down here and show you the first signs of real good growth on this uh, ambassador walnut right here. Yeah, see that? This one, that one down there doesn't have any, but it's got quite a bit of water too. And uh, so. almond down there, a pecan there, wal or walnut, walnut, some pecans. The pecans got some growth. And here we got a buzzard. He's after that dead chicken that's been on the roof over there for about a month. He's probably waiting for him to be nice and tan and everything. Okie doke. The pig containment experiment seems to be a success. They haven't shared each other's pens for a while. If we did, what I suggested was the as you can see the pipe looped through the screen, wired to the bricks all in a row, and on both sides. So there haven't so far been any pigs in with a chicken. April Fool's Day, we finally got some work done. Monday. <laughs> I did a little bit of it, and Rick did most of it, and made that row over there to plant some of the corn in the trays along here. April 1st, 2013. Right now it's about 5.30 in the evening, so you can see where the sun is at this time of the day. I'll take a scene in the morning. We'll see what what gives. Okie dokie, April Fool's Day. April 1st, 2013. And the giant Inca white corn is planted in one row. And Shoro is thinking of digging in it. Well, April 2nd. And Shane and Haley have one vomiting, apparently messy as fuck pig. <laughs> oh, excuse the language. Anyway, he doesn't seem too happy with them. I don't know whether it's nerves, cold. In fact, he doesn't have any testicles, that he doesn't have any immunity, or what the deal is, but... Morning there, booty. 
April 2nd. See, there's booties work to puke. He's not feeling too chipper. He's not jumping around much. Uh, and these guys seem all right. There's no evidence of any vomit anywhere. But uh, anyway. All right, April 2nd. It's about, where are we, close? five minutes to seven. Uh, Rick got seven rows of corn in and that till, and that's going to be lettuce and all that other stuff. And as you can see, the sun just hit the top of the mountain. April 9th. Oh, there's that ring neck turtle dove I was telling you about. He's gonna be, uh, ah, get himself trapped in there. Yeah, you silly bird. April 9th, 2013, about. 5.15 p.m. I guess Rick's got quite a bit planted here. Recently he put in onions and some lettuce seeds, onion seeds, uh, lettuce seeds, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage, carrots, and I asked him to plant flowers, but I don't know. Toro down there admiring everything. Oh, by the way, I think the other two became Vietnamese Easter dinner. All right, still April 9th, about 5.20. You can see the nut trees. No sign of growth on the walnuts yet fence, as you can see, is all done, except has finally shut up now that the camera's on. Oh, it's not about me? <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll go out and look at the interesting part that I'm sure the pigs are smelling and getting very interested in. <laughs> As things progress, we may have a giant pig pen. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, most of the citrus are making it. At least eight of the 11 have uh, shoots on them. Unfortunately, all the sour fruit crapped out. No limes, no lemons. <laughs> but the sweet stuff may make it. <laughs> 